Morning everyone. I'm just coming on to show you um, how to construct this little 3x3 um, notebook box. It's really simple to make um, and I have made it for this wee set of cards that I've made. Um, I've just got envelopes to make for them. And it would make a lovely wee gift for somebody. Um, or if you're going to make an act together, these are lovely wee extras. Um, I got the basic design of the box from Pootles. And I'm sure plenty of these have already um, watched a lot of her um, videos. But for those that don't, um, I'm just going to show you how to make it. Um, now I do have the measurements here, which I will show. And this is my template that I worked from. Um, but that's all the measurements there. Um, I'm not sure about the other metric, this is all in centimetres, um, because that's what I tend to work with best, uh, but everybody's different, so just, if you're not sure, type it into Google, 25.5 centimetres in inches, and it will give you what your, your metric is. So, I have done a few templates to show you how to construct it. So this is what your card will look like after it's been scored. Well, I'll show you that side first. But you're going to remove quite a few parts. So you're removing this part here, this part here, this part here, these two, this one here, and the same on the opposite side. These two bits, notch them. And I will show you this on a template I've cut out in just two seconds. But you're just notching these two parts here as well. These sides up here, you'll see I've got a wee rounded corner. If you have a corner um, punch, use it just to notch the corner. Um, and the same with this part here. So I'll just show you what we're cutting out. So cut up to the centre because we're going to notch that anyway. Turn it around. Cut up to the centre. Okay. So then take your corner punch again. I can get in. That's better. Take a corner punch. You'll see I've actually got a wee mark there. Just put it in and notch it like that. And you're doing the same on the other side. So just where I've got the wee mark there. You're just putting your punch in and notch. Right, so we're getting rid of some stuff now. What I do, just hold that part under so then the red one cutting. What I tend to do is just cut straight down here. Right, then here, 
we're notching that so notch up notch up trim in this corner here same applies notch in notch in to your score line and then we're just cutting this center one out which is a bit awkward because obviously you've got your bits still round about it but it's, it's fine and that's you done one side don't throw these parts away these are great for cutting into your um, yeah, let's see, for your um, flower backs no one's going to see it so just don't waste that size of card um, these wee bits obviously you can get rid of but the bigger parts keep a hold of so again just right up And remove, notch up and out, up to your score line with the notch, up to your score line with the notch, up to your score line with your notch, and then along your score line and away. Um, along your score line and away and that's your left with your basic box shape and it looks like a kind of big T right so then what I would do is I would burnish my sides um, with my bone folder just Make sure that the score lines are all um, scored in really well. And this part here where I've got a wee line of ink, it's a notch anyway, just trim it off. Makes no difference. Okay. Now these sides here, you're Cutting in, uh, uh, cutting in, folding in, same with that. Then what you're doing is, I'll just pull my other template, because that one's a lot neater. As I said, I'm doing this really quickly for the camera. Um, I haven't rounded these corners yet, so I'm just going to do that now. Right, so we're just sticking it. Turn it over on its back so that your um your score lines are all folded down the way. And take your you can either use wet glue, strong adhesive, double sided tape, whatever works for you. Um I prefer this because I know it sticks really well excuse the sump there, everything's under the table and then what you're doing is and these boxes fold flat for storage as well so they're really nice for racks because you can do a load of them in one go and then all you're doing is sticking down oops, is it? try and line it up properly with this gum then all you're doing is just Lining it up 
and making sure it's stuck down properly. Okay, so you're only losing, using one line of glue. This part you're folding in. Now up here I tend to use my half inch, eh, my one inch circle punch and just notch out a wee thumb notch just for them to open it properly and slide that in. And that's your box constructed. What I then do to cover mine is I cut it at 8 centimetres squared. Um, now again you can use whatever colour scheme you wish. Um, the one that I showed you, I used blue mirror card first. This time I'm using red mirror card first. And I've just went in with my ATG, make sure I put it right way up. There. And just judge roughly. Your centre point. Then I've got a white piece of card which is seven and a half and a centimetre squared. And again, just centre it as best possible. Doesn't need to be perfect. Handmade, so blemishes are expected. Oops, move it up so you can see it. This one is what depth is that? Two and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters, and I've used red mirror cards. And this is just to make a wee belly band along the middle. Make sure I've got it the right way up. I've got a terrible habit just now uh, having everything off centre. So you've got that then. And then what I'd use for this is just a wee bit of wet glue. And it's just your embellishment. Now that one I used the blue mirror card on. But that's because it's against the black. So it shows up. If I was to put red mirror card on there, it would be a waste. You wouldn't see it. So I'm using white mirror, a eh, white standard card. Okay. And I know it's not great. Just bear with me. And then I'm using another wee bit of white glue just to stick on my little red hat. Okay. And then what you can do is you can either go over it with the stress before you start or an ink pad or whatever or you can just go around it with some stickles. Now I'm doing this really thick quickly. The top one I'm covering all over. The bottom one I'm just going to go around it outside. As I said, this has been kind of rushed because I'm doing it on camera, but you can obviously take your time with that. Um, and that's your re-embellishment on there. 
and then you're just adding your cards inside. Um, but I mean, you can do any variation. Um, I'll just put this one together quickly just to show you another variation of it. So just turn it upside down. Quick run along the bottom there. Fold it over. In. So the ATG bin, I think that's pretty to look at. Notching my little thumbprint. Fold that in. Um, and as I said, you can decorate these however you like, really. There's no right or wrong. Some folk use partly paper, you can do that, obviously. Um, what have I got here? Right, I'll show you. Mm, no, I won't. I was going to show you that, but I thought something else there for that. I'll use this maybe because that will work. Um, so what I've got here is just my cover went to it's there. So your bottom layer is down to eight centimeters squared. And then you can put your white on top of it if you wish. However, for this one, because of the pattern paper I'm using, I'm not going to add a second layer. I'm going to keep the design and I'm just making the wee belly band for it. So the belly band this time needs to be the 8 inch again, uh, the 8 centimetres. So that it goes right across the pattern paper. Right, so again, you just tape runner around your four sides, and because this is paper, it's a bit thinner. Um, about 18 minutes, so I should be able to get this done. Up that way, and just find your central point. Doesn't it need to be exact? Okay, so you've got that then. Then we're going to go across with our belly band. So my belly band I'm going to have just about here and again it doesn't need to be perfect. It's a wee bit ski with but that'll do. And then what I've got here is a few wee coloured hearts just to embellish them. And again you can even dress these up further by using stickles or um, gemstones, whatever suits you. Um, and then I'll add this one here, just down below it. And that is a second wee box designed. So that's your. Oh, never fails. Just stuck my finger in the stickles. I'll fix that with my craft knife in a minute. So that's your three wee boxes that I've just designed there. All different, all very useful, and they don't take long to make. 
Um, as I said, you can make them in bulk, flatten them down and put them in a drawer for when you need them. Whether it's Christmas, Easter, birthdays, you design it how you like. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now.